you got three stocked or it was last <laughs> right. or it was last week. No in between. <laughs> but it's just always it always seems like when it comes down to that, the the player that plays the most defensively more than often more often than not loses. Like you have to have that killer instinct. You have to identify when you can get those final stocks. Right, if you're just trying right. to keep yourself alive, you're giving your opponent more opportunities to do that to you. Right. You have to realize what your win condition is right. and then realize when it's there. You almost have to play like you have another stock ready. Like you just have to be able to continue to be aggressive in these high pressure situations. But moving over to Shadow PR, why do we normally see this guy on the East Coast? That's right. Like I said, he was here for Genesis. Decided to stay an extra couple days, hang out, you know, meet the fans. <laughs> Always good to meet the fans. <laughs> I'm going to go introduce myself. I, I live out here now. Chances of me going over to Maryland to watch him play is uh, pretty slim. So we're going to see his Rob show up. Okay, Rob versus Peach. Three, I believe Roddy did one, uh, fairly well in Genesis. Yeah, he uh, just lost left. I mean, sirs, came right down to it. 56% already racked up. Peach can do it. Uh, that's right. Peach is uh, one of the like, most combo-heavy characters in this game. <laughs> he just continues Ooh. to get hit by rainbows, but Wadi answering right back with a down air. Wadi said, in the turn, down air. Another character that used aerials, Rob, that have to use those a great effect against Peach. These combos, they're gonna happen. Why did you just have to remain close? So you can see the mash out. Wow, no <laughs> instant mash out from Shadow PR. You can create some really odd 50-50s with that down throw because if you don't get the mash out, you get up smash. But a lot of times you've seen Wadi expect the quick mash out and jumps up and capitalizes on that too. So it's just like, you kinda have to guess right. Okay, well, he dropped oh. the gyro, but good way from Shadow PR. He recognizes that trap, knows that if he did get up too early, he would have gotten hit right into that up smash. 128% definitely within kill territory for Peach, but 89's already racked up. Wadi slowly but surely starting to pull away with this game. With the rage racked up, he's definitely looking to get two stocks in there. That's right, you know, he's looking for the down throw. He's looking for some type of trap. He's able to land a side B. Uh, at the ledge, that's going to be getting lights out for Shadow PR second stock. Oh, get here we go. Up, down throw. Let's see what we got. Oh, but good DI from Shadow PR. It's keeping him in. That oh, second stock oh, alive. Oh, Why he's oh. going to go out there and tickle him with the follow up though. Hanging out that high, you can float if you want. Why he's like, all right, that, that's fine. I got what I wanted out of that first stock. Shadow PR, unrelenting, continues to press. His uh his pressure onto Wadi. And the gyro goes out for the leads are also forward air is getting some value down tips also throwing the whole kitchen sink at Shadow PR right now. He's getting the whole hit. Okay, down throw, we're gonna see back air. Good, good, easy confirmed from Shadow PR. <laughs> easy bread and butter. Shadow PR is like, oh, this is what it feels like to be items non-stop. Fortune dropping the shield at just the wrong time. Getting another gyro. Looking for the peach bomb and gets the gyro to the face for their trouble. Rolls back on the stage. Shadow PR finds himself the recipient of a laser and another gyro. The item game is insane right now for what? That's right. Why are you really showing his stuff? Oh. Peach bomber, 69%. Shadow PR has done a really solid job of edge guarding. It's just unfortunate that he's going against the one character that you effectively can't edge guard because he almost always is going to come back. Dash track connects for Wadi and following up with a laser. Shadow PR just takes tip. Shadow PR just takes percent just for trying to get back to the stage. Wadi is just taxing Shadow PR at every turn. You think it's a downbeat of neutral? No, you're catching a gyro. You're catching a laser. The chip damage continues to add up. Nice forward air. Shadow, he has to go for these daring plays. Doesn't work out. Game one. Mm -hmm, very unfortunate. He got hit with the up air. Uh, even if he didn't get the wall bounce, I think he still would have been game over for him. That is the really tough thing about playing against a Rob of the quality of what Wadi brings to the table. You're at 30%. You're dancing around trying to find the opening. Eat one gyro. It's like, okay, not, not the biggest deal. Eat a laser. All right. Five seconds later, you're like, why am I at 98% right now? So that's We didn't even like get close to each other. That stage isn't even legal. <laughs> 
<laughs> they're they're going playing on uh, is that Yoshi oh. story? That's not legal. This is SoCal. He's like, all right, whatever. Out we got Bayonetta. Just like, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but Bayonetta coming out. Force Shadow PR. I was wondering going into game number two. Live, we would see a character change from Shadow PR. It just seemed like Wadi has a really solid understanding of that matchup, no matter how well Shadow played the Peach. The switch to Bayonetta, though, that's a curveball because Shadow PR already showed that he had a tough time closing out stocks, and that's one of the biggest one of the biggest weaknesses for Bayonetta. Right now. Yeah, and now Wadi really showing the the strength of the stage as he gets five down tilts in a row. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that on the stage. Today I learned. There's Day I learned for sure. That up air will not kill. Unless you're like super high up. Even then. It's, you gotta yeah, already be past the blast. Pretty much 128% racked up. But again, Bayonetta, one of her biggest flaws is her inability to close out stocks. Wadi's not the type of player to just catch a random forward smash for free. So wow, I'm the really gyro good. connected with oh my god. K. Oh my god. She still got hit. It, it connected. They traded. And then he got hit anyways. That's... I'd seen a lot of talk about, like, Bayonetta and, and just, like, how over-gutted she was. <laughs> but that was sad. I I had no remorse for Bayonetta, but that one actually made me sad. This is so sad. Alexa, play Desperate Seed. I mean, why did he, he installed the eight-time zoom scope on his ride. Like, he's out here sniping. Left the right in the city. Shadow's like, all right, I can get back to the stage now. Another gyro to the face. 131% to 1.6. Right now, Wadi's looking for the two stock lead again. Goes for the down air. Could have won for the neutral. Left it on the tape. Oh, very. Uh -oh. Okay, okay. Oh. Good wall climb. Cling to uh, reset. <laughs> right, let's see how Shadow PR comes away with his first stock. Okay, recovering low. Able to make it back to the ledge. But just getting back to stage isn't enough in this game. Connecting a back air, taking a stock. What he needs to do going off stage, giving a lot of control of the stage once again. This low percentage. Is he an up throw? So, up throw. Yeah, get that platform no. extension. Don't go in. An actual though. Aerial attacks. 30% in the blink of an eye. Shadow PR rallying back. Showing you knows how to do these bayonetta combos. That's right. Good damage on to Wadi. But answering right back with, a, with an up air. Now gyro connections, double gyro. Wadi out here recycling his gyro. Like if he hit, if he hit Shadow with it, it's almost always getting caught. And it's the remix immediately to follow that. I mean, we're seeing a lot of trades between Shadow PR and Wadi, especially like these close quarters, like down tilt. Yeah. Uh, oh, very unfortunate. Uh, oh. Well, fan at everyone. You hate to see it. You hate to see.